Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Ali. Welcome to Art of Man's Life. You know, when I joined um, or when I you know, started to become a fan of, of Lego, um, you know, I read a lot of, I still do, I still read a lot of comments and forums, you know, within this community. And one thing that's always intrigued me and sometimes makes me giggle a lot is how, especially us adults, are extremely, extremely opinionated um, about this kids toy about these plastic uh, bricks and pieces I mean really opinionated um, and one topic um, that I've noticed always come up especially when new sets come out is stickers you know these things you know all these things that uh, come up in a set you know and more often than not most of the comments are always the, uh, the hatred <laughs> for stickers why can't this be printed instead of a sticker you know and and i thought okay let's have a little chat um and i thought let me share kind of my view on them and what i do like about them and and don't get me wrong there's some of them i don't like um there's some aspects of the stickers that i don't like um but personally i mean right off the bat as a pure disclaimer i mean i'm in no way a full lego purist uh, you know uh, maybe I'm not serious enough uh, for, for, for the Lego purists out there. For me, it's, 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 it's about having fun and creating your own world. But I truly believe that um, uh, stickers or these decals, um, they can add a lot of vibrancy, character and dynamic um, to a city, and, you know, to a set. Um, and especially if it's your own creations. I think if you mix and match them, I think it can work really, really well. Um, I mean, just like in life, uh, in real life, when we see huge vinyl posters and stuff, it's it's the same thing, but it's just on a miniature level. So, and uh, you know, the, the graphic design of some of these, um, of uh, some of the stickers that can coming out, especially on the hidden sides uh, theme, the Ninjago theme in the in the Ninjago city and the docks and the Ninjago gar gardens that I've seen, the graphical quality. Um, um, they've been really cool and really nice and it's not just a, a quick drawing they're really detailed and I think they can add so much more than bricks could do you know um, so for that I mean to, even from that point alone I think they um, I'm all for them in, in, in that respect if, especially when you're trying to create a, a vibrant uh, kind of city landscape however that's not to say I don't have my problems with them um, and it's usually it's come down to just two areas where I have problems with stickers. The first is the translucent stickers. Um, you know, especially when you put them on like clear windows or clear doors or clear panels, especially the curved ones. Um, and I've seen quite a few of them on the Marvel sets, you know, especially when they're showing like a computer monitor. Um, Spider-Man's lair had them, the Iron Man um, or the Avengers Towers, um, they had them as well. They look really cool. And to be fair, they are cool. However, when someone like me, who isn't as um, delicate, <laughs> uh, shall we say, um, my fingerprints are just visible all over the place. And also for some reason, they seem to peel off over time uh, quite easier um, than normal, uh, d d the normal decals or stickers do. So those are the ones I do prefer. Oh man, I wish they were printed because that would look really good. Um, so I do have a problem with the translucent ones. The the other type of stickers um, that I don't like is what I call the lazy stickers. And usually we get them a lot in the Lego Friends um, sets. And I'm a huge Lego Friends uh, fan, as you may know, um, if, if you've been following me on here on Instagram. Um, but what I mean by those lazy stickers is those stickers that um, uh, represent or show other decorative details in the room. Um, like if it's in the kitchen, it shows the shell, the pot, the pans. If it's in the bathroom, it shows the toilet paper, the towel, you know, all, all those things. And I think that I, I, that for me is, is a lazy sticker. I mean, I get why they do it, um, you know, especially with the target audience. Um, you know, to have that kind of illusion that this is a bigger uh, room and all the accessories are there. Um, but personally for me, um, for the way I build and the way what I want to have in this city, I, I tend to not leave those stickers out from those sets. And um, because I think it defeats the object. I mean, if I wanted to have the accessories and pots and pans, we have the accessories, pots and pans in real Lego form. So just use that. 
Um, yes, from a space perspective, I can see it, I can understand it as well. But ultimately, I mean, uh, yes, would I love to have more printed parts? 100%. Of course, who wouldn't? I mean, I have a lot of printed graffiti all around the city and everything and printed tiles. But there's a big but here and ultimately it comes down to cost. Everything comes down to money at the end of the day. And ultimately it's cheaper to produce stickers than to print pieces. Uh, you know, that's just, just the way life is. And if I was given the choice, hey, hey Ali, would you prefer to have uh, pay some more and have um, printed pieces or have uh, pay less and have the stickers, you know, outside of my two little bugbears, shall we say, um, I honestly would go for stickers. Um, and the reason for that is because Lego is not cheap as it, you know, in itself. And I know we all have disposable incomes of adults, but it's still quite expensive. Um, it's a luxury premium toy. And, you know, the way we build with like, you know, big city landscapes, city builders, um, you know, we've got to try and keep as much of the cost down as possible. And so for me, I'd, I'd, I'd rather go for the stickers, pay less, because I usually get some duplicate sets um, because I want to try, it's easier way uh, to build buildings and, and, and to build um, constructions for the city. And I'm also not alone uh, in, in this thought. I mean, I thought I was alone in this thought, read in the comments, but then I did a quick poll on my Instagram page and, and um, you know, with the friends that I've made there. And surprisingly, um, majority of people didn't mind stickers. So. I think, you know, when I sometimes read the polls, you know, you gotta, th when I sometimes read the comments, you, you gotta take it with a grain of salt because usually the ones who are most verbal aren't always representative, <laughs> you know, and I don't think uh, that sentiment is purely only related to Lego discussions. I think it's, uh, it's a similar thing uh, for all worldly <laughs> topics of life. So let me know what, you, what about you? What do you, do you agree? Do you like stickers? Do you hate them? You know, are there any other things that you dislike about them or are you a champion of them? I'd love to know, especially I'd like to know what your favorite themes, your sticker themes are. Um, so look, until next time, uh, take care of yourself. Um, stay healthy, stay blessed. Um, I'm gonna put a little uh, montage of some of the stickers I've got in the city, um, also my favorite ones, and, and I hope you enjoy that. Take care, ciao, ciao, peace and love.